Welcome everyone. I hope everyone's doing magnificent. Watching. Okay, good. All right, let's start this. What up, you two? It's your boy, Top, Mr. No Snitch in this house. But uh, yeah, we back for a final episode of Life is Strange. And yeah, it's been a crazy journey. Mr. Jefferson's a damn traitor. Principal's a nice guy. Who would have known? On Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how! What the fuck? Yeah. Jeez, man. I still can't believe that happened. My girl, Chloe. Getting hit with a monster truck. Yeah, all right. All right, let's do it. Let me move my chair. I'm hyped. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what happens. definitely been touched 100%.
to see how we get out of this one, to be honest. Alright, holy dick, DPI. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Can't do anything. Is anybody out there? Please help! Oh, damn. Claps. Finally, I'm free. Almost. You know the vibes? These straps are hurt. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. I knew she was in a light. Just go. We leaving her behind. That's a sad truth. God, I don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Gosh. Here we go. This, this damn thing. I don't know, to be honest. Like... To be honest, I never got this. This is stupid. Use A and D keys and left and right mouse button to find until you find the sweet spot. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. What the hell? This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure. Expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there. Stay still. I'm drugged up, you yeah, damn doofus. Oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Brother, thank you. You didn't have to do it, you doofus. Much thank you for the three. Better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. 
good. Oh, those eyes. Oh. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Yeah, man, this man is taking all types now of this pictures. this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe... A new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Get ready, I'm about to shank him. Watch now this, watch this reversal. This will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. You know the vibe? No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take a shot. <laughs> well, I'm a goner. Fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Oh, we're for sure doing it. Whoa, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. God dang it! If I have to do, th I have to do this again. I know, you doofus. Maybe it was, maybe it's easier on controller. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for the space bar. Because they knew people wouldn't get it. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. 
Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Got him. You know the vibes? Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You know what? You killed my best friend. You can go to hell. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. What you want? Some boda? Some pebbles? You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel is dead, but no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is mm. Nathan now? Dead and buried. Damn! After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Oh. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. That's right. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. 
Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Oh, uh, you know I the vibe? I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. <clears throat> Watch this, boys. Ah, oh, let me crack my knuckles. Watch this. Here we go. Oh, he's gone. All right, watch this. Oh, 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 DPI. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay, never mind. Never mind, we're gonna talk our way out. What a so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work. Okay. Wait, please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, he played himself. Congratulations. You played yourself, bucko. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, damn. You know what I'm gonna do? Don't look at this hoe. And we're gonna be here for another five minutes trying to trying to figure this uh thing out. You know the vibes, we're gonna we're gonna ruin your whole day. You know I I just what the I don't know what I'm doing. Come on. <sighs> Find the sweet spot, yeah. I know. Bear with me, boys. Oh, I had it. Thank you. Jesus. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic tradition. Right back where I started this insane week. Hey, shake him. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, uh, you know, it's uh, the process. It's process. Yeah, come on. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Yeah, you know the was vibes. It? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, I'm not even the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Yeah. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. All right, you know the vibe. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. How the hell are we gonna do that? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Five, five, five. 
Six thirty, eight two, all three. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else, and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. Uh oh. In Jefferson. We go. We'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what happens to me, Mr. Jefferson. We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Mm, bye. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. E. You know the vibes? Vibes? Okay, Jefferson, here's my fucking photo for the contest. Plane. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. You're alive. 
alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus. It's crazy. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Oh lord, this sounds like champ. Love you champ, if you're still here. <laughs> I'm in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Mm, chaos in Arcadia Bay such as the un... oh my god, seasonal snowfall and beach wells. Two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Right, 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 right. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know, you know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. You're missing one. You're missing everything. Future, present. Oh god, I get to see a gallery, you know? They call me the young painter of the group. The Picasso of the team. You know the vibes. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a step in. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Oh, absolutely. Room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. 
So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Damn, my man teleported. Wowzer, Max. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Oh man, I'm lost. It's great to read all these comments. What the hell? Not Even as good as last year. The shows totally makes me want to start photos. The future of photographs start here. Oh lord. Calm down. Look at this print. Oh the my field, the color. That's the glizzy the shape. This was definitely shot with a the medium glizzy goblin. We're using a Leica 35 millimeter lens. You can definitely find out those details. All right. The story oh. of a photo if you know how to look at it. You know the vibe? She didn't even notice? Oh my god. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I yeah. bet you're learning a lot. Yeah, you know the vibe. Aren't you from Blackwell okay. Academy? Okay. I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen. Oh, shit, I didn't even again. notice this. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. <laughs> Bro, Chacho. You know the vibe. How much would you pay for that? Uh, about $25. Loving the retro vibe. Oh, what's up? Hi, excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Right now? But Come on. Here's my card. Oh, okay. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Man, come on, let's sit right here. Come on, we'll sit right here. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? Oh, look at that! There's my picture. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. She always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. I always get hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. E you know, you know the vibe? This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Uh, usually these kind of contests, they uh, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. Uh, the zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good friend of mine. Bad exposure, bad framing. Look at this picture. weirdo. I could have done this so much better. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi.
You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot! Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, sick. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Damn. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Oh no, I wanna I wanna vibe out into the rest of the art gallery. I mean the tornado could wait. How do these galleries afford to rent here? You know, I I mean I pay for them. It's just no fucking way. Cheap. Chloe can't die again. Wait, this, I have right? to save her. Oh, no, I wanna talk to what's this face? I guess everybody is a photographer now. Like I do not understand art. Yeah, moment. Chomp. Alright, let's go save the day. Oh, man. My vacation. I gotta go save more people. Jesus. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Oh, Sorry, absolutely. But... Come on. Oh, my goodness. You, I mean, you can ask me questions right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm just struggling. So what's... How was my day? Oh, you know. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? <sighs> Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Oh, you know, I Thanks. use a Sony. I literally you know do I mean? not have the time to deal with everybody. I definitely have a Sony. You know the vibe. The vibe check. How was my day, by the way? Oh, good. I ate. I... Uh, <laughs> I played games, you know what I mean? No, hey, oh, I hey. totally am into your photography. Yeah, douchebag. Focus, Max. Chloe needs you now. Yeah, well. Oh my gosh, can I pick your brain for an hour? Thanks, but I, I'm you? busy. Oh my. Zen, Max, Zen. There's nobody here but you. Nobody. Oh my god, I did it. Oh shit! Oh my head! What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. You're dumb. 
Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Uh Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. You know the pipes? Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He and burned my diary. Always That's why I'm still diary. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. Hey, here we go. I promise this final dose won't hurt. Jesus, David. Jesus. David Madsen. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last request? 
Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. Yeah, you know the vibe? Mmm, jam it out. Gonna stay screwy instead, and I'm a little bit cuckoo. Hold it! What? Okay. No way, Jefferson. Definitely not it. And I prompt. Water? Ring? Uh. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. I think this is it. I promise this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh. David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Jeez. Jefferson, it's over. You are not Grab going to ball. stop me. Oh, well, that... <laughs> Going to stop me. Jefferson, it's He's hiding over. a gun over there. God damn. Sorry, Madsen. Okay. Deja vu. It's the over. Gun. You are not David, going to stop kick me. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> David Metz. <laughs> I always hated that. <laughs> oh my god. Too, Max. Oh my god. Come on. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Yeah? You think? Jefferson, it's over. Jefferson, it's over. Wow. Yeah, get him. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. 
He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit! No signal. Uh-oh, about to Thanks, hop in Mr. the Jefferson, beamer. But you won't need this anymore. You know the vibe? Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. <sighs> I want to burn all these hate looking at me like that. Oh, yeah. Damn, Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Oh. That's Victoria's bracelet. No. What I bet Jefferson was going place? to use that to frame Nathan. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. <laughs> I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but... When Joyce kicked me out... I had nothing. I was pissed off and wanted to rage. Yeah, I know the feeling. Too much. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me Step Douche. <clears throat> so, where is Chloe? Mm. Tell the truth? I mean, I might as well, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna tell the truth. I mean, I don't know. David, uh, Chloe is. is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. 
Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Yeah, he deserved it. A hundred percent. I ain't even mad at you, David. You did the right thing. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. I'm not even gonna rewind. I'm happy with the choice. Expensive Let's gear just, just for Let's sick just bullshit. Like no more fucking guns. Oh, you don't want to carry the Blakey? Well, I lost again. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you for the last time. Oh, already. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Right under my nose. You won't need those glasses again. I'd stomp them. All right. Damn. That sucks, sir. Big dog Dave. that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. I can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. <laughs> It's okay. Me it's too. okay, big boy. But I'm here. It's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Let's do it. Hit the dash. We gonna floor this hole.
I wanted to drive. I told you, I trust Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. <laughs> so Damn. Don't look. God damn it. She's gonna crash. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or. or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Damn. I'm sorry. Oh no, this music is way too goddamn. Jesus. The music was insanely loud. Oh man. This is something from The Walking Dead, cuz. Save your local truck drivers. Look, what? Oh my, this mother. Oh my goodness. Oh my girl, I'm coming. Shit, Alyssa needs help again. Why you move back? Wait! Help me! Lisa, are you okay? She fell again? Help me now, Max! Alyssa is stuck in that house. I have to get her out fast. Alyssa, are you okay? Okay, so I gotta save her from a different way because this chick doesn't understand not to back up. Wait! Help me now! Come on, Alyssa! Take my hand! Here I go! You did it! Yeah, I'm four for now four. I am. We need to get out of here. 
Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. God damn, what happened to him? I want to see what happens to him. Oh my god, come on. Just pay attention. I wanna, the, what does he? He just rolls over. I got you, girl. Come on. Oh damn! Well, what happened to him? Is it show? Nope. All right. Well, this man clearly got knocked out by something. Damn! I can't help him. Thank you. Thank you, Benzy. Oh, damn. Thank you, Benzy. 12256 for the follow. Much appreciated, my man. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Just get ready, because after this episode, we're, we're going to the... We're going to Life is Strange 2. Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. But yeah, thank you for following. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy your stay, bud. How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Oh, damn. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. You know, I'm helping everyone. Yo, know, your boy is a big hero. Safety comes second for your boy. I don't know what comes first. Let's think about it. Saving people, helping people out comes first. You know the vibe. just happened damn what happened to you hey you got crushed no need to go there now no need to go there now Gotcha. Yes. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Oh, damn, I didn't even see the cop. Evacuate. 
situation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not. At least nobody's a going to starve. This tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and Sur Go get him, Julia. Counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in Trust me. I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing what you up? can do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Thank you, XD Weapon, for the follow, so, my man. Safe here. Much appreciated. I, need that photo from I hope Warren you're enjoying me. Uh, absolutely, Phil. Check this your whisper text. messages. All right, I'll check after this. this. Much bigger. No Thank you for the follow, my guy. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe, and I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max, can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Mm. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, 
I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the oh, middle of it you. with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. <clears throat> as long as I have my pompadour with me. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug, and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Now, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. Oh, thanks. But you're cool. You know the vibe? Vibe check. Oh. Oh. Max, do you... Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and... Give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's 
safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. Then look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together. Again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. Jesus, this is not where I want to go. Good come job, to. Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. I'm back, I'm back. Just got off the phone. Alright, I get it. It's been a strange episode. I'll let you know right now.
I guess we just sat there the whole time. I mean, I don't know what else there is to do. As long as I have my... Oh, the damn flo photo, dummy. Hey. Jeez. Be careful out there. We don't want to kill you, so. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Here we go, five minutes of just waiting here. to use space bar you know the vibe we got no time for this shit come on max <sighs> chloe jesus dude what is up with you i'm just glad we're here together i guess you need to talk no worries it's all good i'm glad you're with me too what's going on max we have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. connected to Rachel. Let's go, now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're gonna, you're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because. I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. You almost had her, Max. I can still I know do get her. Watch. Excuse me, I'm going. Nathan, that fucker. Because will you play? Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. I'm, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson with one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. 
I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely <clears throat> paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. And I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... You think? I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been there so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. dude shut up oh you're alive you're alive oh, both of us i did so much to bring you back home it worked it actually worked you're with me again looks like even fate doesn't want us apart and you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and yep i hope it was worth it but i don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. 
I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And Aww. it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Oh. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously oh, called film little pieces of time. I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Was. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and I our sorrow. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This From might color, be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed human up. condition in black and white? A am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yeah. Oh, because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the what eyes of those the... sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in what a dark the... corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. <laughs> Everybody's gone now. Oh, what the... Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Not yet, you bastard. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Holy sh... Uh, this can't be real. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh, damn. I see you, Max Caulfield. What the? Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'm walking out that hole. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Oh. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can't be real. I don't believe it. What the? Oh, hell no, nah, brother.
What the hell? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? What the You hell? never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. What Kate, is that's your not problem? true. I've always been your friend. Oh, damn. Oh! Oh, what the... Oh, 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 this is trippy. So I go here, it's gonna go through another hole. Oh, my... F oh, no, this is like... Oh, what the... Oh, key. Boom. Give me that hope. Forgot about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Where's my room? God. This door is always locked over here, wasn't it? Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the key? Man. Oh, 218, I'm done. Rachel, she was my angel. Yeah, there's After a well. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. How do you know she disappeared? My brain's getting messed up. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That bracelet's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing my bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She has... Has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. I wonder if Rachel has a room around here. friends forever. Man, so you want me to check everything? But think about yourself, Max. Uh, 224. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. You would have too. Smart. What now, Victoria, I'm guessing? 221. Like, wait, right? It should be like right here. Next one. Right now, Max. Max is over here. What the holy dick? What in love is going on? <sighs> Hold on. I want to check if my. Okay. What is going on? I'm not going to see if I'm wearing all shops. I'm not going to see if I'm wearing all shops. Everything's becoming reverse. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Yeah, 
Hey, then the things backward. Pull up. The clue. Oh my god. Oh, look. You want me going in here, buddy? I'll go in here. Or not. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Oh, damn. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. We in Chinese? Please stuff. understand, Max. Yeah, we are. The only place I can Hey, Max. The only place I can be myself. Oh, it's easy mode. Is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. <clears throat> what happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. Max. Oh, well, damn. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now... You have to die. Easy. Let me see this. Controls are definitely wonky. Uh -uh. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. What? happened to your spark max i thought i could be your professor for life good evening blackwell this is principal wells and i'm here to drop the mic on max caulfield attention i regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates max Wait, bust. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Okay, so he does. He doesn't move. He just. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, Abe? Hey. God damn it. Hey, get in the car. Thank God. Max, I know you're in here. You can run, but you can't hide from your white knight. Give it up! And think we're going to accommodate her every whim. What's up with you and that blue-haired loser? I you wish I could press a button baby. and blow this whole fucking school up. Jesus. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Oh Come my on. God! <laughs> He's scared the... to rewind now. <laughs> He's scared the fucking. Jesus out of me. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy dick, that was. He scared the living Jesus out of me. Holy dick, man. I don't like that man's voice. Bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. If only you could have seen Rachel. My blood spattered angel. Oh no. Bottles. Max. This might be hell. Angel. Now does it mean Max? Blood spattered angel. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Ill doesn't mean I deserve to die. But sit here and chill. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out, no matter what. What the hell? 
Oh, man. You should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was oh, when did I get bad but bottle of course karma? I see what she's talking about now. If you took Is there one more left? Things, maybe you'd be alive. Nobody ever helped. Oh my goodness. Why are you looking at me like Nobody that? ever helped me, Max. Especially you. Please let that be the last one. Max! It's gonna be so Jesus. Why you scream like that? Oh shoot. You will be my Stop, Max! What the f Oh, I glitched out. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Don't try to hide, Max. Get out of here. I gotta do this? Oh, my. Cancer. You gotta be taking me. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe what I'll wake up. To your spark, Max. I thought I could be Jesus. your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Good evening, Blackwell. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe, who wants to go away? Too bad you didn't go away, go away, babe, babe. Miss Price can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think safe. we're going to accommodate her Damn every week. Damn it, Max! Wake up! I wish I could get in the car. And blow this Do you whole have a fucking scar school up. Sorrow, Max? Max, I know you're in here. I found out you who went run, through my but you files. Can't hide from your I'll white sick knife. David Madsen on their ass. Come over here, young man. Hey, Max. Wait, you'll you ever get some more Vortex here. Club? Is if a tornado so I can beat you up. your ass up? Easy claps. Another vibe. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. If only you could have Max. seen Max. Freak. Oh no. If Bottles. You could have seen me, this might be hell. My blood spattered angel. Hello, Rachel. She's posing well, for me. These ones aren't too hard to find. Come on down. Just because I deserve Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? 
Oh man, Holy you fucking shit, Max. Snack that was hilarious was when rude. you guys dug up Rachel's body. Oh, is there one more left? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, Rachel, this worm food. <laughs> she gave great cake. Especially after I dug her body up to be with her one final time. Please let that be the last one. One final time. Nobody ever helped me, Max. Especially you. Like Rachel, oh, you gotta take a photo over here. Nice, just something. in case. Oh. We did it. Oh, damn. What the? Chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wind. What? I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. Oh. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max. Damn! What the? <laughs> Roof is talking smack. Oh. <laughs> man, I didn't know Doug's my man was so pissed off at me. This man texted me. The damn dog texted me. Oh my goodness. Damn. Why Be seeing you, you soon. Question? Real soon. Man, my do the dog damn roasted me. I don't know how I feel about that one. How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. I hear that. <laughs> I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. Damn. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. 
Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. <laughs> what? I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. What the hell? Why did Whoa. you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Damn. What is your problem? E pad? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Oh, oh, what the... Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Boys. Boys, how am I supposed to find 70, 7802? Well, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Right, definitely not it. A lot of seventy eight O twos. Seventy one seventy one, you think? Evan, if you oh my god. If that works. I'm carrying you. Victory. Oh no. Would have been lit. Well, damn. 2515. Let's try that. <laughs> that would have been legit <laughs> if it was, if it did work. <laughs> nope. Hmm. We gotta like. There's something in here. Sixty, let's try that. Sixty eight oh three. Oh, no. Sixty-eight, oh, three. Oh. Now, why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Oh. There it is, right there. Oh, three, eleven. Holy dick. That has to be it. Right there, oh, three, eleven. Five head, I, yeah, boy, out on these streets. Don't kill us, Max. Oh, what the hell? I guess I'll never dance again, Max. What's up? Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Look, I know things. I oh, I do. That doesn't mean I deserve to, to die. Me? Max, I hope you do the right thing. I can't believe you kissed me. I hope. 
Now you're going to kill me? So this is how Max Breaker, gets your revenge on. Thanks for saving me. I guess my husband Carrying and the load, baby good buddy. will have That's to go without me. For. Don't let the squirrels die. Hmm? I wish we had been friends, Mac. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh. You're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max. Do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Damn. Things got emotional. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. I don't even think we use that yes, camera. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. I mean, I Let's used to slang the rock back rock. in the day. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. 
Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? No, not really. You saved me again. Oh, Lord, don't even remind me. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Kind of crazy. In the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind? Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Bro. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from this. It was pretty much. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Pretty much like the memories that we had together. Me. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Oh, that's the RV. Daydreaming? That makes me ill that Rachel posed like, Not until I see it first! You know the oh, old damn. cat. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird oh, hanging man. out with you again. I know. I'm glad we're here. <clears throat> Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sun's. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will, too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I'm gonna I just cry. I to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Damn. You understand? Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Rachel? Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I love. Come, Come on, Max. We're almost there. Almost there. All right, let's see. Max.
I'm coming. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. Holy dick, that's loud. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Let's see how we deal with this tornado. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once... I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Oh, Maxie man. Maxie finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Uh, oh, excuse me. Damn. Did I sacrifice the whole goddamn town for one chick? Or sacrifice Chloe? Hmm, damn. I don't think I can rewind it, I'm gonna be honest. So a choice is gonna be a choice here. Well, I guess I'll just sacrifice. I, I oh man. Oh man, Max, why? It's time. I don't think I can rewind Chloe. it either. I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. 
We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much! love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. Oh, man. Can't be a simp. Oh, damn. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Damn. Come on, put that thing down. Don't. Ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! God. This is way too quiet, Jesus. My ears. Maybe there was music. Doesn't matter. I'll get copyrighted anyways. Who cares? <clears throat> Damn. So there was music, but copyright reasons, I guess, but. Yeah, man. That was her destiny. Get shot there. Jeez. That's crazy. Everything did a full loop. You were living in the dream. Life's crazy, I'll be honest. That's that's something. Yeah, there is music. I hear it. Oh, it's all right. It's not that great. I try. I'll try. Try. See if I can do the music. No. Oh. 
It's okay. It's copyrighted anyways. It's copyrighted. Oh, there's no music playing. Well, I can't hear it anymore. I was for sure getting copyrighted. But damn, man. I cannot believe it. I wouldn't think that would happen. I really didn't think that would happen. Not in a million years. I don't know. I couldn't. I mean, that's weird. It was good. I enjoyed it. I for sure enjoyed it. Oh, man. Everyone's coming to this funeral. Damn, no song, no music. Here, I got us. I got us. Here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got us. There we go. Get it improvised. You heard. Oh, damn. I think they would talk through this. I mean, damn. But hey. I don't even know my first video uploaded. I gotta check. I check my first video went up still. Where is up? Damn, the sound glitched out because that dude's talking, but. Yeah, what the hell? He's talking and stuff. Oh, look, it's Frank being suspicious. Oh, so it is like this. I'm looking at a video right here on my phone and. Yeah, it's just. It's the same way. It's muted. It's like glitched out or whatever. Oh, look, a butterfly. <sighs> Jeez, man. Who would have known? That's it. That's a wrap, baby. That's a wrap. 
Episode five. Wow, man, dude. The ending was something. It was glitched because I watched other people's videos, but 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 by far a hundred percent agreed. A hundred percent agreed with it. You decide to sacrifice Arcadia Bay 48%? Oh, what the? 52% decided to sacrifice Chloe. Yeah, I, I agree with that ending. David got scarred during the fight. 96%. David didn't even get a scar during the fight. What the? 4%? David killed Jefferson, 45%. David did not kill Jefferson, 55 I guess you got to lie that, that Chloe's still alive. Oh, you saved the trucker, 60%. You didn't save Evan. Oh, my God. Hey, I saved Alyssa, though. I'm on a roll. You saved the fisherman. You helped Joyce believe in David again, 34%. You told the truth about Rachel and Frank. You kissed Warren. 67%. 5% didn't show affection. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. That's a wrap. Wow. Holy dick, it's loud. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Life is Strange. And uh, yeah, it was cool and all that. I hope you enjoyed. I surely did. And we'll be on to the next one. Life is Strange Part 2. And we'll go through all five episodes again. And yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Thank you all for watching on the YouTube side. And yeah. I'll see you again. Doses. All right, chat.